Hey guys, this is iMaster, and this is part three of how to set up your iWeb website. Okay, today we're going to be talking about the cool little program iTweak, which we downloaded earlier. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to add comments to your iWeb website, even if you don't publish to MobileMe. First thing you need to do is come to the website HTTP um, Gwimkey.com G-U-I-M-K-I-E dot com. It's the same place that you downloaded iTweak from. Then under recent posts you can just click adding JSKit comments to iWeb or search adding JSKit comments to iWeb. So we're going to click that and it'll bring you to a page which basically shows you how to do it. But I like video tutorials better and that's why I'm making this one. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is copy this first line under Roman numeral Phi. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Then we can open iWeb. By the way, I am the pr new proud owner of iLife09. That's why iWeb looks a little bit different than it normally does. And on my welcome page, as you can see, I have pasted the same text. It's just in a different font. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so you paste that text in. Then you go into iTweak. Helps if the window's open. <laughs> You go into iTweak and you click search and replace. You click the little plus sign down here. So where it says search text, you paste in again that same um, wording. Okay? And then you come back to the Gwimkey website and below it has uh, another code. So we'll go ahead and copy that. This one's a longer code. Open iTweak. And where it says replace text, command V and paste that in. Now, you, whenever you published, publish your iWeb um, website to a folder, it overwrites this. So you have to do this every single time. Now, it, um, iTweet gives you the ability to save a table. You're going to want to do this. The only downside is, let me go ahead, delete this, and open I have my table saved already. Um, it's in my documents. So this looks pretty much the same, but as you can see, it adds for some reason this gets thing. It says gets. So just delete that and then you're good to go. So then we can choose our published site. It'll be um, wherever you saved it. Now before we hit process site, we're going to do one other thing. What we're going to do is we're going to add a favicon. The favicon is that little icon that goes next to the URL address. In this case, it's the pink G. So how we do that is you can open up an image file or um, open up a logo or whatever you want the favicon to be. I already have one. I'm going to use paintbrush. I'm going to file open. Let's see. File open. And you don't. I'm going to show you. Alright. Let's say you have one like this. It's bigger than it needs to be, obviously. So what we need to do is we need to take the image down to a 16 by 16 so that it's set size then we file save as favicon and save it to wherever you saved your published website I've already done that at this point you have to upload your website once you're, you have successfully uploaded your website, you can open the folder 
that you saved your published website to. You drag the favicon file into where it says favicon file. And when the little plus sign shows up, just drop it in there. Now, the reason you had to upload it, your website, is because you have to type in the URL of the um, of the uh, favicon. So in my case, it would be imasterweb.net forward slash favicon dot ico. Oh. Before you upload it, you want to be sure that you change it from favicon, it'll probably be JPEG, to favicon.ico, okay? This just gives it the ability to be in um, a favicon, okay? So be sure that it's favicon.ico, and then it would be... Um, URL forward slash favicon dot ICO and just check off add favicon at this point you've done all that you need to do and you can click process site it'll give you an error it's gonna say an error has occurred while adding the favicon see favicon error um, don't worry about this it might just be a glitch it still works so I'm not sure what that's about it still works so don't worry about it and it'll continue processing so that's everything that you can do with um, with iTweak. I'll go ahead and show you the final product um, is a website with a favicon. It's the IMAST web logo. It's a little pixelated, but um, it's better than the blue sphere that they give you. And a comment board comment board that you, so visitors can just click leave a comment a nice little form comes up and they're good to go okay guys well thanks for watching um stay tuned for more videos and bye